Okay, so another example of a different type of problem you might encounter in this section. Um, we have a physician that's ordered 10 milliliters of Tylenol-3 every four to six hours for a child weighing 40 pounds. But on the label, it states that there are 12 milligrams of codeine per five milliliters and that the safe dose is a range between 0.5, this is a decimal point here, so a half, and one milligram per kilogram per, per dose every four to six hours. And we want to figure out if the physician's order is suitable for this child. So we want to, what we want to find out is, does the physician's order fall within this range? So we're going to calculate a lower dose, safe dosage and an upper safe dosage. So to calculate the lower so safe do dosage, we see that it's, we take that bottom number, so 0.5 milligrams per kilogram per day. All right, and we see the child weighs 40 pounds. So to calculate the dose, we multiply this by our 40 pounds, but there's a problem. Can you catch the problem? Yeah, our pounds, our units of weight, the way we're measuring weight, don't match up. We have pounds and we have kilograms, but we can convert um, pounds to kilograms, right, by multiplying by, um, we know it's one kilogram to 2.2 pounds, right? Oops, that should be pounds. Um, <coughs> so we're doing our conversion, our pounds cancel out, and we still have our fun conversion factor for the dosage. And when we multiply, or we do 40 divided by 2.2, you get 18.18 kilograms. So you could have done this conversion to kilograms before you even started calculating the dosage, or you can do it within the context of the problem. It's up to you. Whatever works better for you. I'm going to put 0.5 because I keep thinking that's a 5. All right, so my kilograms cancel out, and I do 0.5 times 18.18, and I end up with... This should be dose, not day. Sorry. Thinking about that. Sorry about that. So it should be per dose. Excuse me. Um, <coughs> so I end up with 9.09 .09 milligrams per dose. Okay. And we're almost there. So we know how many milligrams per dose, but now the... The physicians ordered things in terms of milliliters, so we need a lower dosage and an upper dosage in terms of milliliters. So I have to take this 9.09 .09 milligrams per dose and figure out how much of the solution I should give. There are 12 milligrams of codeine per 5 milliliters. So we want the milligrams on the bottom and the milliliters on the top, right, so that our milligrams cancel out and we have milliliters per dose. And so we take the 9.09, .09, multiply by 5, and then divide by 12, and I get 3.78 milliliters per dose. So that's my lower dosage, so the low end of the dosage. So now we need to figure out the upper dosage. So I'm going to put the lower limit, write it down over here because I'm going to have to erase. 3.78 milliliters per dose is the lower, the lower safe dosage for our 40 pound child. Now to find the upper dosage, it's pretty much the exact same setup except instead of the 0.5 here, right, we use the upper, the higher end of the range they gave us, which is one milligram, and this will give us our upper dosage, our upper, I guess you could say safe dosage according to the package. All right, um, and then it's the same conversion, right? We're going to multiply by the 40 pounds, but we need that in kilograms, so we, we convert that <coughs> just like we did for the lower dosage. And so you end up with one milligram per kilogram per dose still. 
and we're gonna, when we do this conversion, we end up with 18.18 .18 kilograms. And how about that? My kilograms cancel out. And so I end up with 18.18 .18 milligrams per dose. All right. So I have the milligrams per dose. Now I need to figure out how much of the solution that comes out to. So I take my 18.18 .18 milligrams per dose and multiply by the 12 milligrams per 5 milliliters. So what's in the solution, right? To figure out how many milliliters should be given. So my milligrams cancel out, and so I take my 18.18, multiply by 5, and divide by 12, and you end up with 7.5, I think when you round, 8 milliliters per dose. So my lower limit was, so the safe dosage, according to the package, for this 40 pound child is between 3.78 and 7.58 milliliters per, per dose. So if we look and compare that to what the physicians ordered, the physicians ordered 10 milliliters per dose every four to six hours, um, which is definitely outside this range, right? The 10 milliliters is bigger than the 7.58. So probably want to go back and check the order. Um, it's definitely out of this safe dose range according to the label.